Hi guys and welcome back to the old Nintendo Arcade, I'm Alex, how are you doing? Hope you're well. I've got to get this video out because there's been um, so much going on, I've had so much coming in here in terms of pickups, uh, car boot, ramblings, um, all sorts of stuff been going on but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it all in one vid so I'm really knackered, I've been working all day today and I'm really knackered but I thought I'd get this video out. Um, because it's going to be too long otherwise with everything else in there. Because I've got my Space Firebird cocktail is back. All nicely powder coated and ready to put back together and restore. So I'll be doing restore vids on the Space Firebird. So follow that up. And also I've got a Battle Shark, the film back from the um, Film Institute. And I've already watched it because they've, they've digitalized it and they put it on a hard drive and I've watched it on my computer. And to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed, but we'll do that in another video. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with that. And what else is there? Yeah, news on the Skyskipper. Skyskipper's moving. We're getting there. We're getting there. My friend, good friend Mark, who's working on this um, PCB, is moving forward. Um, yeah, he reckons he can do it, so I'm really excited about this, and um, yeah, more news on that uh, towards the end of the week. And I've got a couple of unboxings to do of a rare item, a uh, console item for the Famicom, which I'll do maybe tomorrow night actually, and get that out for Tuesday morning, something like that. But for this video, I'm just going to do my car boot pickups because there's so many of them. And I'm really, really chuffed about this. It's been such a while since anything decent's come out of the car boot. I mean, last year was probably my worst year, and um, this year hasn't been that great either. And in fact, the, the boot, he hasn't been on for about five weeks, and I've been watching old Tootie, old Tootie's tales of the bloody booty, and all these little pickups, and it's been making me really jealous. So I went out this weekend on a mission to, um, pick some gems up and, and that, this is the whole thing about car boots and or anything you're into really is is finding that rare gem you know, that's what you get up early for you know i'm up at half five get the booty for half six and you get there and you basically you try and beat the other punters to all the the gems basically and sometimes it pays off and that's why you get up so early so i'm just going to show you a few of those gems that i picked up today and um, quite a few actually and I'll leave the best ones to last. Uh, so where do I start? Right, so it's all pretty much all Nintendo stuff. I pretty much leave all the other stuff, Xbox, PlayStation, not unless I know it's a real gem, like, you know, like a Tombi or something like that. In fact, my friend Mark picked up a Tombi for the PS1 uh, this weekend, and uh, that's a real gem for a PS1 collector. But I normally leave pretty much everything else for the other guys, so I just look narrow it right down to Nintendo. And I'm really chuffed when I find sealed stuff like this. It's just a memory card, but it's nicely sealed in its original box, which I love all that kind of stuff. Which looks nice in the collection, which it's never been used. So that was a really nice little pickup. I don't know how much I paid for that, can't remember. Um, oh, right, well, let's get the non Nintendo item out of the way. This is the only one that I picked up. Another Spyro, I do believe I picked up that last week. Um, it's the silver silver uh, box, not the black label box. I don't think it goes for much, but still, nice, nice to pick up Spyro. Um, DS game. Uh, Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of Light. Can you see that, guys? Not, don't know anything about this game. I know Final Fantasy, but I don't know if it's in the same line as the others. It's complete with instructions, which is always good. Actually, no, it's not. That's not the instructions. That's just a product registration card. So it is missing the instructions, unfortunately. But still... 
Nice to get a Final Fantasy on the DS. We've got uh, Nintendo Dogs and the Dalmatian and Friends version as well, limited edition. That's the American one. I might give that one to my daughter actually, she likes all that sort of thing. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't think that's an expensive title, but it's complete with the instructions. And it's always nice to get the little um, the points card. I know they don't use it anymore, but I still like it's nice to see that in there. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Can't go wrong with that. And that's that's complete with instructions. So nice little DS bundle, guys. Um, was that it on the DS? I think that was it on the DS. So the main pickup of the week was GameCube games. I can't remember, can't um, believe how many GameCube games I picked up, which is a uh, cool, you know. And it was funny because the boot is where I go. So the one on a Saturday. Um, they make everyone queue up and they won't let anyone in till 7.30. So it basically gives all the, the sellers time to set up all their goods and stuff. But I find that a little bit annoying because the people that do get there early are not really rewarded. I like to get there early and get rewarded for getting there early by picking up the gems where it's just like a mad rush to get in there. But I mean, a lot of people prefer it. They think it's more organized. I don't, I prefer Sunday's uh, car boot when if you get there early then you're first in, you know, you can see what's what's about and, and basically you have first pickings on everything. Um, but this this first car boot I went to on Saturday where you had to queue up, most people just go for the middle lanes and the ones that are still late unloading because they think they're going to get there first before anyone else. And for some reason, this weekend, I went for the first row, which is normally the one that's set up first. It's normally got all the traders there, and most people normally ignore it. And in this occasion, they did, because I went there, and there was one lady there, she was selling, what, must have been about 10 GameCube games. So, I was quids in there, pretty pleased with this little bundle. So first up, guys, I've got Wave Race, and is it all complete? Yeah, it's pretty much all complete. Which is good, and the discs are all good. No real markings on there, which is good. That's Wave Race. And look at this gem. This is a real gem. Zelda, Wind Waker, can't go wrong with that. Complete with both discs. Which is always nice to see and the instructions and it's in very good condition. I'm not going to tell you how much I play for this because you, you, you're going to be uh, pretty jealous if I did tell you. So I'm not going to tell you. I don't want any jealous viewers. Um, yeah, I didn't pay much, <laughs> put it that way. Um, so yeah, that, I'll, move, I'll move that one on. I've already got it, so I'll move that on. Mario Kart Double Dash. Again, complete instructions. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Now I picked this up on Saturday. This was Sunday's pickup, today's. And yeah, this is in much better condition. The other one didn't have any instructions, the one I picked up Saturday. But yeah, it's got the points card in there, everything in there. This is in really good condition. So I might swap that for my version. Mine's in a bit of a bad state. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, classic game on the GameCube. Got a GameCube collection, this is a must for it. Um, yeah, really chuffed with that. Some real cool games there, guys. Um, oh, yeah, this is the, the bashed up one that I got on Saturday. Um, oh, no, it is, it is complete, eh? Is that right? Or have I just picked up the same game? Oh, okay, no, it is complete then. They both are complete, which is cool. I don't know why I was thinking that, but didn't have any instructions. Super Mario Galaxy, classic game, if you haven't played that guy, I don't think it goes for much, but it's complete with a points card, a club card, club points. 
this was a bit of a shame, but it is nice. It's got the cardboard sleeve, even though it's it's come apart. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii, but unfortunately, it's missing the disc, which is a bit unfortunate because everything else is there. But I'll hang on to that in case the disc does turn up at some point, and then I've got a complete Smash Brothers game someone can have. Um, what else we got, guys? Lord of the Rings. I remember playing it on the Xbox. It probably doesn't go for much on the GameCube. Again, it's complete, which is cool. Yeah, that was a good game. I remember all of those three being quite good games. I'm playing them through with my son. Right, um, what else we got, guys? More Wii games. Indiana Jones, Staff of the Kings. I'm pretty sure I played this on the Xbox One. If it is the same game, I actually quite enjoyed it. So it's quite nice to have on the Wii. I have got rid of my Xbox One. There's no Microsoft in the house now anymore. Just Nintendo, guys. Cook and Mama 2. Great game for my daughter to play. In-house Nintendo game. Complete. Great fun little game. Harvest Moon. Magical Melody. It's always good to pick up. That's about a ten ten pound game. It's got to be again a nice little kind of farming game in good condition. Not my cup of tea, but my daughter might like it. So this is a nice one. Animal Crossing because I, I I do have Animal Crossing on the Wii, but I don't have it with the um, the mic. This is the mic, isn't it? The mic set. We speak. So that's nice, and it's in really good condition. It's hardly been used, guys. Look, I don't think it ever has been used. I'm not going to get it all out, but I might as well just show you. So I think you can talk to other players within the game. Let's have a look at the game first, make sure it's all there. Look at that, it's minty. In mint condition with instructions like they've never been used. Look at that. That is really cool. Fantastic little game, this Animal Crossing. I've never played it, but it does suit the handheld a bit better than the the uh, the console. Can I get it out? Yep. So here's the Wii Speak. This little box here. And look at that. I don't think it's ever been out of the box, is it, guys? So that's nice to have. I've never never had that in the collection before, so that's always cool. I won't sell that. Anything that I haven't got, I don't sell, I'll just hang on to. Goes into the collection. Uh, what else we've got? Uh, table tennis on the Wii. I actually really enjoyed this when this came out. I played this quite a lot. A fantastic game to play. We are Wii Remote. Really, really realistic game by Rockstar. You know they made uh, Grand Theft Auto, so it is a good, is a good company, it is a good game. So yeah, that was a cool pick up. So I don't know what happened to my last one. I must have got rid of it. Sealed copy of Lego Batman. My aim is to get all the Lego games for the Wii and the Wii U because I actually think they're quite fun. I don't know what this one's like, but. Yeah, nice to get a sealed copy. No one's used it as yet. A loose Mario Kart disc, which I found in the bundle of all the other games. And last of all, I've got about six GameCube games here. I don't think they're worth that much, but they're unusual titles to pick up. And they're, well, a few of them are Disney ones. Starting with Donald Duck Quack Attack. Do you know anything about this one, guys? I've got no idea what this game is about at all. I've never seen it before. But it's a Disney game. Quite nice to have a Disney game, I guess. There is a kind of a link with Nintendo and Disney, because uh, Nintendo did used to make a lot of board games before Mario was around. And a lot of them were licensed by uh, Disney. So they, they got the license from them, so they could use a lot of their characters. And Donald Duck was one of them, so it's pretty cool to get. And Popeye, obviously, is another one. 
This is um, Donald Duck PK. I haven't got a clue. I'm not really a fan of Donald Duck. I don't really know much about him, the character. Um, but yeah, nice to get. Uh, Mickey Mouse, the Magical Mirror. Again, I don't think these are worth that much, but I quite like the fact that they are Disney games. So I probably will hold on to these. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. It's got to be good to have a Spyro game on the Nintendo GameCube. Whether it plays the same as the PS1 version, I do not know. It's complete, in very good condition. Uh, I wish the, this is missing the disc. I was so hoping that this would be in here because this is one of my favourite games on the GameCube. And I don't have it. I think I've only got the Wii version. Yeah, it's missing the it's missing the disc. I'm gonna have to look on eBay for that disc because it is a great game and it's nice to have in the GameCube. And see, I don't have this in the GameCube collection. No, I don't. So that is a nice pickup, although it hasn't got the disc with it, which is a shame. Harvest Moon again on the GameCube. Nice pickup, huh? Again. All complete, which is good to see. And I guess this one is probably, I wouldn't say the rarest, but the most desirable game out of the whole lot because it fetches a, a, a better sum on eBay. Pokemon Coliseum, and it comes with the memory card. And it's in excellent condition. Look at that, guys. Not a Pokemon fan, but I'm going to hang on to this. As it is uh, in house Nintendo, well, not directly in house Nintendo, but it's kind of. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to get. So, that was all my games. Pretty cool, huh? I was really chuffed with all that, I really was. Next up, I've got a load of figures. Now, I've got this in these Mario little boxes. These are official Nintendo figures that you can buy. Official seal there. And I've already got a few of these on my on my uh, window seal. I've got all the little carts. Well, these are all the little figures. Kind of go with them. So you've got like the Cooper Trooper. You've got um, is that Daisy? I think that's Daisy, isn't it? And all the little uh, Yoshi's. Got pink Yoshi, blue Yoshi. Got a little um, Sonic there, which is pretty cool. And these, this is really cool. Little Cooper Trooper, which is cool. And a green shell. So these look nice on the shelf. Just put them on the shelf and scatter around. Do you ever see these? So if you've got a little Nintendo room going on, a little Nintendo shelf, these look cool with all the games that you've got. This adds a nice little touch, and this little guy, I can't remember what he's called now, it's from Mario Kart, it basically starts the game. Um, so yeah, he's really cool, look at him. Isn't that freaky? Funny little Japanese face he's got, look. You see that? So yeah, that was cool. And last but not least, this is the best thing of the whole weekend, because I haven't seen these for a a good six years so I haven't picked up any of these I used to pick up at least two a year I'm going back you know a good six years ago but it's actually funny how I acquired these they are Game & Watches I picked up Gold Cliff and Bomb Sweep at a car boot now I didn't actually find these I've got a friend there who looks out for Nintendo stuff for me he said, I've got something for you you might be interested in. So I said, oh yeah, what you got? So he showed me in his bag. He had a nice bunch of games and he pulled out these two. And he hasn't got a clue how much they're worth. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. what. They're. Where's the instructions? Where's the box? And I, he said, that's it. They're just coming like that. I said, yeah, probably not worth that much, mate. <laughs> I give it, you know, that old, uh, that old uh, malarkey. They're not worth a lot. <laughs> um... But not not to the point where, you know, I'm going to sound or look stupid. 
I've got to make him feel like he's done well for himself. So um, I said about, I think I said 15 quid each. Um, I said probably on eBay loose you'd get 20 quid each or 25, right? But is it a car boot? I am your mate. 15 quid each. And he, he took that offer, which I was pretty chuffed with, really, because... I think they're worth 15 quid each, don't you guys? They're both working. That one's got a little nick there on the face plate. They need a little bit of a clean up, which I haven't done yet, just a little bit dirty. But there's no colouring, discolouring. Plastic's all good. The game works. I've had the batteries out, put new batteries in. And I haven't got these. I sold my game and watch collection for a new van and for a Donkey Kong Jr. arcade machine. I had at one stage 46 boxed out of the 60 Game & Watch that exist. And I sold them all. I, at the time I needed a new van for work. But I didn't want to use all the money just for work. I needed to get something else for that money. So I brought this Donkey Kong arcade machine. And I've never looked back because I've got a whole row of them now. Um, but I still have a, you know, a real uh, soft spot for the Game & Watch. I really do love them. You know, I do miss them. But you know, at the end of the day, I'd never played them, so they were kind of just kind of decorative. Whereas Donkey Kong Jr. has given me a lot of fun, gets a lot of play, and I don't know, it's just how many people have got a Donkey Kong Jr. Do you know what I mean? So, and these are quite common, really, in comparison. But you know, I still like the old Game and Watch, and they look great in here. So I won't be selling these. These will be going on my shelf with just a few other ones that I've got. I haven't got many. So yeah, that was that guys, and what was the other one? Where's my bomb sweep? Put it down, yeah, here's bomb sweep. Again, it needs a bit of a clean. You see that guys? But it's got the um, serial number on there. And it's got, no, I'll just put the batteries in there actually, so I know that works, that one. So there's no discolouring on that plastic. So really chuffed for this, really, really chuffed. Um, what a fantastic weekend of Nintendo goodies for me to pick up. And of course I've had some Nintendo goodies in the post, but I'm gonna do an unboxing tomorrow night. Um, so look out for that guys, probably then for Tuesday or Wednesday morning, I'll do another video. Um, but I've got some really nice stuff to show you. And of course the Space Firebird uh, co um, cocktail tabletop is all been nicely powder coated. So we're going to start putting that back together again and restoring that machine. So it's a nice nice uh, little project for me and for you guys to watch if you've got one. Just see how it all goes back together again and, and what I do with that arcade machine. So that's it guys for, for this. I just thought I'd bang this out because I'm really tired. It's Sunday night. I've been working all, hard, all, all day today really hard. And I just thought I'd do a quick video um, just to show you what I picked up in the car boot because there's quite a lot there to get through. So um, that's it guys. Look out for my next video. Thanks for watching.